Hey, what's going on? It's Miles with 78910.com. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about how to use your synth or keyboard as a MIDI controller in Ableton Live. Now, what this means is that you can use the MIDI functionality of your board to control a software instrument. So what I have here in my studio is I have a Dave Smith Profit 08 and I have it configured such that I can use it to control uh, or play the notes on this Ableton analog synth. Okay, now the first piece of the puzzle is connecting it all up. Um, you will need something that is called a MIDI interface and all that does is it connects your keyboard to your computer. Now, some of you out there will have an audio interface with a MIDI interface built in. Some of you will just want to go out and get a MIDI interface on its own because you don't need an audio interface or maybe you have an audio interface that does not have MIDI capabilities built into it. Um, the way that I have mine set up is through a Fireface 400 and that's a Firewire audio interface with a built-in two-channel uh, MIDI interface. So. All you really need to do to use your keyboard as a software controller is have the MIDI outs on the keyboard, like so. So I've got a cable going from the output of my profit to the input on the Fireface. Um, and for those of you who have something like this, uh, like the M Audio Uno, it will say right on the, uh, the, the MIDI jack here, it'll say two MIDI in or it will say two MIDI out and you just plug it into the uh, corresponding jack. Um, the final thing that we're gonna go through is setting up in Ableton Live. So all you need to do is go to the preferences and I have my profit going to the input on my Fireface on port two. So as I demonstrated, everything worked. If I turn off tracking, you'll see if I hit a key on the keyboard, nothing plays. If I turn it back on, it will play. Now, if you wanna take it one step further, you can use the knobs on some select models of keyboards. You can use the knobs or faders if it has any to control certain parameters in the software. So if I click the MIDI button right here and if I just click say the volume and twist a knob on the keyboard, you'll see nothing happens. Um, what you need to do is you need to make sure that remote on the input, and you notice here my, my uh, interface is the Fireface and it has two ports, port one and port two. Notice there's two input ports and two output ports. You need to make sure that we're dealing with the input ports here. So I'm gonna, uh, in the remote column, I'm going to check uh, on. Now, if I click this here and I twist one of the knobs, you'll see we do get a, um, an assignment and it shows it up here at CC102. And if I hit escape and if I twist this knob now, you will see, uh, I'll just zoom in there. You will see as I twist the knob, I am controlling the parameter. And that, my friends, is how you connect your synth or keyboard to Ableton Live. This has been a 78910.com production. Thanks for your support and we'll see you soon.